Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Danny here, and once again, I've got some Call of Duty Black Ops 4 gameplay for you guys, and today I've actually unlocked the Peacekeeper. Um, I'm pretty excited about this, and I pretty much spent all day uh, playing the Peacekeeper. As of right now, I have managed to prestige my Peacekeeper once, and it is sitting at level 1. Um, and so I've definitely gone through all the attachments and played around with each of them and sort of I can sort of give you guys an understanding of is the Peacekeeper a pay to win weapon, right? And I see that word sort of thrown around in the comments of um, some videos and stuff like that, right? A lot of people are saying that, um, you know, this this method is essentially pay to win, that these weapons are locked in reserve crates and that this is wrong. And right, um, I personally I would just like to say that locking weapons behind reserve crates in general is wrong. But calling the weapon pay to win is essentially acknowledging that the weapon is overpowered and I don't think that the peacekeeper is overpowered. Uh, I think what the right word to describe the peacekeeper is, is consistency, right? Um, it is, I believe, a 5-6 to six shot kill, so obviously it's not a very fast uh, f like killing weapon. Its fire rate isn't anything phenomenal and you know it's it has AR mobility I think uh, it does feel like an SMG actually just the way that it plays out um, and so I think that plays out really well, really well. Um, so I think obviously it's supposed to be a hybrid weapon that's what it was designed to be and you know back in even in the previous Call of Duties it was never meant to be this high you know this quick time to kill weapon right and so I think you can look at a lot of different gun guys I think J God has one of them um, but basically what happened or what you'll learn really quickly is that um, the Peacekeeper is a weapon that has no major strengths but also has no major weakness so I guess you could call that its uh, strength right um, now would I say that this is one of the better weapons of the operation most definitely yeah um, personally if you wanted to call one overpowered it'd probably have to be the stingray I think that the stingray definitely is uh, very very strong with its op mod I guess that's what you can call it its OP mod um, the explosive rounds makes it pretty much a one burst kill and it's only two shots so if you think about that that is insane and it shoots pretty darn quick and so for that gun to really not be on everybody's radar i think that's a little bit interesting i think it's just that the entire community as of right now um you know already knows what the peacekeeper is and really really want it right i think everybody really wants the peacekeeper i mean if we take a vote you know uh, i've seen like polls and stuff where it's like oh which is the dlc weapon that you want the most and i think peacekeeper definitely comes out on top there um but i think that over time once people start unlocking each of different guns i think that the stingray will come out i think as probably the top weapon of um this operation now with that being said, right, so I think that it's safe to say that Peacekeeper is a good weapon, but it is just not a broken weapon, if you will. And so, um, you know, I like it's, even then, though, I like using it. I think it's still one of my favorite weapons to use right now. Um, like, if I'm going to use an AR, I think this is going to be my go-to AR. And I think that I would even use this over, I mean, this is essentially an ICR that I feel like can move faster. I don't know if it's true. Um, you know, it just feels like, you know, it has quick draw two, it has stock two, and it has hybrid mags. Um, it has grip, and the recoil is already super low. It's got red dot sight and elo sight. It is everything that I have ever wanted. It even has rapid fire um, and suppressor. So you could play this stealthily. You can play this high octane, like, you know, rapid fire, hybrid mag style, um, you know, gameplay you can make it really play like an smg an ar and i think that's the whole point of this weapon but you know that being said i think that's just where its greatest strength is you know it's so versatile that it really doesn't have any weakness however um you know one thing to note is that if you're up against a spitfire up close you're going to lose if you're up against a sog you're probably going to lose as well you know um however with that being said, at long range too, you know, so a gun like say the the Rampart or the KN can probably beat you if they land their shots, you know, and therefore like like I said, you know, the Peacekeeper is not the best for anything, but it is also never the worst for anything as well. It's very middle of the pack. I would say even like mid to high tier of a weapon, and I think that this is definitely one of the just a top tier weapon all around you know it doesn't rely on anything to really make it good um you could run the base peacekeeper and i think it'd be quite good already however um i think with quick draw 2 if you know if you're a guy that likes to use the maddox with quick draw 2 i think that uh could be something that you might want to look into but personally i never really liked maddox with double quick draw this was never that good with it uh and so i might give it a go in a mul public multiplayer but as of right now quick draw stock uh red dot and hybrid max has been my go-to setup 
Um, you know, one attachment that I would say to make this game or make this game, make this gun absolutely perfect, I think would be FMJ. But uh, with the way that it is now, I think it is very good, and I don't have very many complaints. So overall, uh, once again, this is uh, my rant on the Peacekeeper. Do I think it's overpowered? No, it's not. But it is definitely a very good gun, and probably a top of the pack gun. Uh, very easy to use. Um, and out of the four DLC weapons, definitely the easiest of the bunch to use, and probably my favorite bunch, uh, or my favorite weapon of the bunch. Now, um, hopefully, you know, I also have the ballistic knives. However, um, per se, I just don't have very much of an interest in using ballistic knives. Um, and therefore, for me, I don't really care about it. And with and when I don't care about it, I don't think I'll be able to really grant gameplay for it. Uh, I've got a lot more Peacekeeper gameplay coming up. Uh, this is pretty much like my second game with the Peacekeeper, I think. The game before this, I think I had a, a normal Peacekeeper or something. Or maybe it was a couple games before this. But this is one of my earlier gameplays for sure. And I basically just got all my... Uh, peacekeeper gameplay just in one session <laughs> that's just how good it was now it could be because that we just had a string of good games but i mean the peacekeeper just felt super good and so props to that but like i said you know blow stick knives i don't have much of an interest therefore i won't use it much and you know maybe in the future i'll have gameplay for it i mean my friends enjoy using it and you know uh maybe i'll get gameplays off of them we'll see what happens but yeah so um as far as the next i guess uh, gun review, if you want to call this or whatever. Quick thoughts on the gun. I want to be able to do it for the Stingray, but who knows if I'll ever get it right. Um, you know, I've started to save up crates again, and maybe I'll crack them open at the end um, of the operation, or whenever I feel like uh, getting a new weapon, or whenever the Peacekeeper gets stale, which I don't see happening for the foreseeable future. Um, I also have. I also want to begin to use the Cat 40 um, and other guns that I haven't quite had the time to push through with, and uh, therefore, you know, just things for me to grind for. Um, so maybe you'll see some of those gameplays on the channel. But uh, Stingray is definitely on my radar. Um, but and I've I've used it actually uh, just to give you guys my quick thoughts on it. I don't own the gun, however, I picked it up off you know a couple dead guys, and fortunate enough for me, they all have the op mod. Um, so it was really really strong it was a really really fun experience to play with i think that it is stupidly busted i mean the fact that it kills in one burst it's crazy uh, as two shot kill that is insanely crazy and i mean you could do splash damage to the people around him as well i believe since it's explosive and so i think that makes for a very interesting case but yeah overall um you know I am not defending Treyarch in any way, shape, or form. I think that locking it behind reserves is stupid, and it is one of the worst things that you can do. And making that weapon bribe, you know, pull bigger with the fact that they added Mark II weapons to dilute it is really, really scummy as well. Um, and, you know, to all those guys that want the Peacekeeper, I wish you the best of luck. But honestly, I think the best course of action is um, to just grind for the tiers and get reserves as soon as possible. And then... Uh, you know, just go from there. I would strongly recommend against uh, paying money of any sorts to get your crates. Um, just don't do it. You know, maybe in the future. I know. Well, no, not maybe. In the future, contracts will be coming, and so you know, maybe there will be a direct way to get or better ways to get weapon bribes, or maybe even get the direct weapon on its own. Though I highly doubt it. Who knows? You know, it could it could, it could happen, and so. Don't spend money on it. Um, the peacekeeper is not something to write home about, uh, not or not something that is worth uh, taking shit out of your wallet for. Um, don't give them the satisfaction. So on that note, hope you guys you know will enjoy the rest of the gameplay, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bloody for once. Oh shit! Oh, I got my oh. fucking thing. That's a good ass fucking sensor dart, actually. Mm. I'm still surprised not many people play recon stuff. I feel like his sensor dart's still pretty good, right? It's not like terrible. Yeah, it, it just doesn't last as like, much as not... it used to. I mean, that's still useful though. It's better yeah, than UAV because you have constant like bang on where they're at. So yeah, uh, that's my two cents on that. Like, back in the beta, all I played I was guess... recon. Like, literally all I played was recon. Yeah. Like, I mean, he was literally a walking blackbird. Until they nerfed him. Yeah. Yeah. They nerfed him too fucking hard, I think. Because I, I feel like his ability that, doesn't like... come up quick enough. 
And his sensor dart was what made him yeah. consistent. But you take that away, there's nothing left. At least for him, you know? Ghost. Yeah, there's other things that do more. Other specialists uh, do more, I guess. Yeah. Still. But they could have more of an impact, you know what I mean? Like, you got Tempest just clearing yeah. out an entire fucking. Tempest thing. is fucking stupid still. Yeah. He's fucking dumb. He was a. Like, oh wow, he's got the new fucking Stingray. There's like specialists where it's like, I'm fine, that make me feel like specialists are fine, and there's fucking like Prophet and shit. They're like, nah, dude. Yeah. Prophet, Ajax, nah, dude. Nah, man, those aren't okay. Yeah. Like, some of them are just so much, their stuff is just so much more powerful. Yeah. Like, you have fucking Seraph and her fucking attack deploy beacon. Like, like okay. in uh, OBJ modes, holy shit, that thing, if you protect that shit, you single handedly could over overtake a hard point, dude. Yeah, and then fucking on the other hand, you have. It just fucking feeds the other team kills. Yeah. Do you not like Red Dot Sight on your BKM? No. Oh, I don't like Red Dot. Fair, fair enough. Or at least on like longer range stuff. Mm, okay. I like the. I like that these are pretty much variable scopes too now. Yeah. I feel like the the recon scope is not as like obstructive as what they once were. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! That guy fuck fucking deleted. <laughs> Drop ammo. Yeah. You choke a shot? Yes, I did again. It's like the ones that should be easy shots. Oh I'm like shit! Missing right now. Yeah. Oh, they're sitting. They're, they're just then, sitting in the like, back. The you ones that should be shots. hitting. I'm, I'm... No, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny, dude. Here I go! Fuck. Oh man, I could've gone all. Man, I could've gone playing the game again. Fuck. Oh. I had it, man. Ah, oh, fucking shit, dude. I should not have pushed that. What was I thinking? I'm honestly just throwing shots out now. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing down suppressing fire. That's why I like light machine guns now. Yeah, dude. You just spray and when they re -peak you, it's like, oh, well. That Sorry, hard dude. free fire, dude. Yeah. It's like I've been doing it the entire game, man. Oh my god, is that a dog? Huh. I don't know, that was a player, my bad. <laughs> we do have a dog, though. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, you got oh, fucking an army. What did you- what the heck killed me? No clue. That was weird. Like, my arm fell off, and there's a different icon on the thing. So I don't know mm. what that was. Wait, tell me again. I need to know. Oh, maybe it killed you with the stingray? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I think so. Is it like a normal gun or no? Uh, sort of? It's a two round burst weapon. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it like fucking get me, dude, so I don't know. But. 
Where are these guys? Uh, they were left side. As usual. Like the left side. Are you sure where did he come from? Oh, they flipped spawn. Oh, they flipped spawn for a second. Yeah, I think we took it back. Yeah. Oh, Mantis, dude. That potato, though. But. Oh, yeah, I should have watched oh, that. Oh, shit, he's fucking. Guy again. Wall hacks. Wait, almost right there. I think I just died. That's four, dude. I was like, give me a sec. This was the mistake. Like, I came in, and then three of them swarmed me, dude, and I got...